Hey, okay, this video is for Taurus. So this is a general reading for you guys for the next seven days. And if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, that would be great. And uh, let's go ahead and start you off here with the Chinese fortune cookie oracle, and it is future. And it says, you may travel or travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. Okay. And start off here with the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords here shows that you have inner strength and that you're very uh, independent and mature. And it shows that your intuition is, is spot on. And next we have the Nine of Wands. By the way, we have air signs, fire signs, and earth signs. And signs that are standing out more is Aquarius and um, Cancer. We have the chariot and the star here, so you guys. Okay, so the nine of wands here uh, says to keep going, don't stop, and uh, to persevere. And it's also saying to be prepared. There could be something hidden, something, some deception or something hidden going on. So just be prepared. Next we have the star. And this one says that dreams come true and it's positive changes. And it uh, shows that you're moving in the right direction and on the right path. Okay, next we have the seven of pentacles. And this shows that there's seeds well planted, like your efforts rewarded in the future just be patient and have some faith it says mm -hmm. and next we have the hanged man and this card shows that you could be taking like a temporary pause or things right now could be at a standstill and it's uh, saying have patience and know the value of right timing. Next, Knight of Wands. And this card represents somebody who's passionate and energetic. And it uh, could indicate a change of residence or a long journey. But it also says that there's maybe some events that require immediate action. Next is the Ten of Swords. And this is saying that it's, there's an end of a situation, you know, that brings relief or sadness or both. But it's an opportunity for new happiness. And it could also be the end of an addiction. If there's any addictions going on, it could be the end of it. And next is the chariot. And the chariot, by the way, looks like you have a couple sevens here. And the number seven is about uh, intuition and being spiritual. Okay, so the chariot here um, shows a victory, an achievement, and uh, it's also public recognition. So, okay, next card is the sun. And with the sun card, it's showing happiness and joy and success and security. And uh, it could be some 
magical opportunities coming. Okay, I'm going to pull one more card. Like I usually do with the weekly readings. And it is the Empress. And the Empress says, time to take action. Um, and it represents abundance and prosperity. And it also could represent uh, marriage and pregnancy. But it says that you're on the right track. Okay, Taurus. Again, if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, I'd really appreciate that. And if you like the video, give it a like. And any comments are welcome. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot.